Okay, this is my uh, homemade lead plate and alum cell. This is one that uh, lead motor did and uh, looks so cool I had to try it too. So uh, the red, the red uh, lead connected, that's, that's the positive side and where the black leads are connected that's the negative side and it's kind of hard to tell but uh, the positive side is kind of a chocolate brown color and the negative side is a very dark gray almost black color now this cell has had about a 10 minute charge on it and uh, we'll show you what what it can do in just a minute but first this is what I use to uh, to make my lead plates is, is uh, these lead sinkers and uh, I use this plate as, as a mold. I, I heated those sinkers up to, to where they were liquid, poured them in this mold and you notice that it's got a, a very bumpy surface. I took a center point punch and uh, just tapped on it and, and made a very rough surface. And this is the alum that I use. This is just McCormick's uh, alum that you get in the spice section at the grocery store. This is what I'm using to charge my cell with. A little four and a half to six volt uh, charger. And I've been using the four and a half volt setting. Okay, let's, let's take a look at this. And we'll we'll try to hook this up so that uh, whoops, let us hook it up again. Now there there goes the uh, the fan, and uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's running uh, about 1.4 volts, and uh, on the milliamps it's. Uh, uh, just a little under 30 milliamps. Now it will run this motor for a good five minutes before it really starts to slow down. And uh, like I said, that's with a 10 minute charge on that cell. So that's pretty neat. So hold on just a second and uh, let, me, let me set up the, uh, the little blocking oscillator so you can see it run that. Okay, here's a uh, little blocking oscillator, and right now it's uh, it's on just a little water cell, a zinc and copper tap water cell. And let me move this light just a little bit so you can. Uh, there we go. I think you can tell that uh, that it's blinking. All right, now let's uh, disconnect the water cell from it. All right, hold on just a okay, I've got the uh, I've got the uh, alum and lead cell down in the cavity there. and uh, once again, there we go, and you can see it's uh, it has changed that from a blinking light to uh, to the solid red lights, and uh, this will run several hours. If if I run this on that uh, on that fan for about five minutes, I can run another two to three hours on uh, on this blocking oscillator. Now this blocking oscillator. With the light solid like this, it's going to draw a couple of milliamps. When it gets down to the blinking, it's down uh, around 40 microamps. So uh, anyway, that, that's quite a quite a little cell there, and uh, been a lot of fun to make, and uh, I enjoyed showing it to you. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.